Improvements to access child care services has been in the works since early last month with a new state budget that will also impact Kern County in the near future. 23 ABC's Brianna Polk joins us now in the Live Center with more on how this budget will also increase reimbursement rates for families. Brianna. The budget that was introduced by Assemblymember Rudy Salas consists of $1.3 billion to provide financial relief for parents amid inflation. This budget is going to be great for Californians. We're reinvesting not only in education and child care, health care, homelessness, dealing with a lot of issues that Californians are facing. Salas adds that more than half a billion dollars is being spent to ensure access to child care services for working families in need. This year's budget increases the reimbursement rate for child care by $136 million and increases the rates for three-year-olds by $370 million. We're also giving uh, taxpayers their, their money back in terms of uh, funds to deal with things like inflation and higher gas prices and paying the mortgage and just paying their bills. This budget is giving back to those single parents or just parents in general. Salas's office says the effort to help families afford child care continues by getting rid of family fees for the next year. The waived fees are a continuation from the COVID-19 relief package for families and can help save hundreds of dollars a month. We know everybody was thrown for a loop with the pandemic, but now that we're coming out of it and we have this uh, you know, good economic times here in the state of California, we want to make sure that we're investing it in the right places. One of those places is in child care and making sure that we're taking care of those families that need to get to work and make sure that we're taking care of those kids. The budget also includes $100 million to build new child care facilities across the state and renovate current facilities in need of upgrades so that the children can continue to be taken care of by providers in a safe and clean space. Someone that's reputable, someone that's going to keep their kids safe and teach them it's making sure that we're providing more money to the county so that when the counties contract out with our locals, that they have the resources there to do that for our parents and to do that for our kids. The fiscal year for the state budget began as of July 1st, and Salas says that Kern County can expect to see the funds implemented within the next few months. Live in studio, I'm Brianna Polk, 23ABC News, connecting you.